Hello, thank you for participating in the 400 for the 400th project for Portsmouth. The tree you will plant represents one of the 400 years of Portsmouth's past, and this living monument will exist long into the future, if you follow this video guide carefully and thoroughly. Before receiving a tree, it is state law that you call Dig Safe at 811 to make sure the location where you want to plant your tree is free of utilities, such as buried gas, cable, electric, water, or sewer lines. Dig Safe is a free service that lets utility providers confirm you will not disrupt any services or cause safety problems when you dig the hole to plant your tree. Next, use the information sheet you'll receive to determine the best location in your property for the tree. Be aware of any other trees that might compete with the sapling for water and light, the general soil conditions, and other site conditions, such as overhead clearance, how much sunlight the area receives, and any poor drainage that may negatively impact the tree now and 30 years from now. Once an appropriate site is selected, prepare for planting. Please wear appropriate personal protective equipment such as work gloves, protective eyewear, and durable boots while planting the tree to limit injury to yourself and others. You will need several hand tools to plant the tree. A spade shovel is the main earth mover. A trowel or gardening hand tool will be used for small, delicate soil movement around the base of the tree. Your hands are acceptable for this too. A water hose or bucket will be needed for watering the tree during and after planting a set of hand pruners for removing broken limbs or roots, and a box cutter or scissors to remove packaging. The packaging that covers the roots of your tree cannot be planted. Remove all packaging material including burlap, nylon, twine, or metal wire. Pay special attention to any roots that may have grown through the packaging and protect as much as possible. Delicately remove excess soil that is clinging to the base of the tree and root ball. Look for the root collar because you adjust the depth of the planting hole depending on the root collar located at the base of the tree trunk, the first root growth that extends away from the center of the tree. It is not necessary to remove all soil from the root ball, but it is important to locate the root collar. Next you will determine the depth of the hole needed for the tree. Stand the tree upright and measure the height of the root collar from the ground. The root collar should stand 2 inches above the surface level of your yard. This is critical for the long term health of the tree. It is also important to dig a wide hole that is two to three times the diameter of the root ball. You may now begin digging, periodically placing the tree into the hole to gauge how much more dirt needs to be removed. If you find you've removed too much and the root collar is at or below grade, start adding dirt back in. Make sure you compact the soil as much as possible before planting because loose soil can cause undesired settling after you water the tree. Ideally, the sides of the hole are softly angled and tapered to the bottom, as opposed to steep or perfectly vertical walls. Next, prune back any broken branches before the tree is planted and before they grow out of reach. Once the tree is at an appropriate depth inside the hole, you can begin to fill the space around the root ball with dirt you removed when creating the hole. Fill the hole by watering in the loose soil surrounding the root ball, filling the area around the root ball with dry dirt, and watering it in again. This compacts the soil and will hold the root ball in place. Fill in the soil around the roots to the level of surrounding soil in your yard, keeping the root collar 2 inches above that level. Do not plant grass or use clumps of grass you removed while digging around your new tree, as the grass will compete for light and water with your tree. After planting, you want to create a berm of soil as you see here. This berm serves several purposes. It collects rainwater and establishes a zone that will protect the tree from mowing and trimmers. Plus it will retain the 2 to 3 inches of mulch you want to spread evenly on top of the planted root ball. It is important to keep mulch and the moisture it retains away from the root collar to help prevent any tree health or structural issues that could occur in the future. Staking your tree is optional and will not be necessary once the tree is established in the ground. If you do use stakes, use horticulture tape or other low abrasion materials so you do not damage the delicate outer layer of the tree. You will want to water the tree immediately after planting to ensure total root saturation. Additional watering will depend on the season, but your tree should get at least 5 gallons of water once a week, double in the summer, until the tree is established. And that's it! You have successfully planted a tree. Be aware that your tree may suffer from temporary transplant shock. You may not see any leaves, or the tree may shed its leaves, or even produce water sprouts along the main trunk. The Trees and Public Greenery Division usually gives trees a full calendar year to establish, so be patient and continue to water. If the tree is dry and brittle, and it is very clearly dead, there is little chance of a full recovery and removal is the only option. But generally, trees will reward those who plant them. Remember, the best time to plant a tree for tomorrow is today.